Are you there? I think I am. <laughs> you think you are? All right. We hear you loud and clear, my friend. How are you? To the best of my knowledge, I'm okay. <laughs> Man, hey, I just want to, right off the bat... The physical before the call, and, uh, <laughs> I passed, and they said I could do the call. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. You must have some good doctors, because, uh, you know, I wish that... <laughs> I wish... right here in case anything happens. <laughs> Have busy treatment immediately. <laughs> Resuscitation always helps. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, um, you are live in studio. We've got our executive producer, Jaybird, sitting in front of me. Of course, I'm Kevin Hawley, uh, the host, and we've got Pops here. Pops is an 82-year-old war veteran uh, that is um, our, our one of our co-hosts. And we also have uh, Danny B. sitting in, who's also a war veteran. He's a lot younger. He's in his 20s. Uh, but welcome to the show, Larry. Uh, we're really excited I'm, to talk to you. I'm, I'm a peace veteran. A peace veteran, very nice. All right. Yeah. yeah, I was in the army twice, but there was no war going on at the time. Oh, okay, cool. So that was that's the best time to be in the army. <laughs> yeah, you got that right. <laughs> right, right. I was very, I was very heroic, and uh, actually, I actually, I actually saved the life of the chef in the Cape. Homeless Chuck needs a room. You've got one. For Love is never enough. You give and you get. It's always a bust. And it's too hard to leave you tonight. You're crossing the line. You're telling me how I should live my life. And I'm just gonna leave here. She put a stake in my heart. It's digging in too deep. I think she's trying to. change or give it a try cause you're too cool to hear me the way it's going no I can't keep going no I can't wait my whole life I just need some change and some time she put a stake in my heart it's digging in too deep I think she's trying guys are awesome we've got the band slingshot robot 
Everybody's been uh, very excited about that. So we've got those guys here. Pops is in the kitchen still eating. Uh, he'll get in here as soon as he can. We're going to have to move well, that well, chair. Dinah's still out there. Who? Dinah. Dinah who? Dinah's in the kitchen. Dinah's in the kitchen? I don't think I'm old enough to get that <laughs> reference, bro. Pops will. Pops will. Pops don't will, worry. right? He'll be like, what? <laughs> who? I cut Pops' hair off. He thinks he's in the <laughs> studio right now, dude. So. He thinks he's catching the buzz. <laughs> yeah, That's he's, awesome. He thinks he's in the podcast. Right All now. right. Well, hey, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and throw out the phone oh numbers tonight. God. Hotline tonight, 727-237-6010. We will be taking live phone calls all night. Um, also, if you want to chat us up on mixlr.com, feel free. There's a chat feature. Of course, hit us up on Twitter throughout the show. We'll be checking our Twitter. That's at Kevin Holly Show 4, the number 4. And, of course, our Facebook is uh, basically uh, facebook.com forward slash the Kevin Holly Show. Also, check out Slingshot Robot throughout the show. They've got their own Facebook page as well. It's pretty simple. If you can't type in Slingshot Robot, then you're probably one of our best listeners. <laughs> so, that's pretty awesome. Or you're listening, yeah, you're listening every week. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Slingshot so, Robot. Let's get right into this, this band here, because I know these guys, they're, they're busy guys. Uh, I know uh, D- uh, Doug's got to work in the morning. We pulled him out of, you know... Out of nowhere here, we got Doug, we've got Ed, we've got Harold, and we've got Al. That is Slingshot Robot. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for showing up tonight. Um, A lot of people probably don't know that Al and I actually uh, go back way, way back, at least, what, five years, something like that. Um, My kids uh, attended dance school, and so did his kids, and or I think it was just your daughter, right? Your the one daughter, yeah. Was it both of them? I, I can't remember. I'm so, stupid like so that. So wait a minute. I'm sorry. Can, can I interject something? When no. you said that you knew Al from from the Nutcracker years and years ago, I swear to God, I thought you meant that you and Al performed together. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, did. did you think That's that? Okay, too. okay. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not the only odd man out. No, I thought that no. too. Well, judging by your choice of clothing tonight, you are the only odd man out. I got my shiny shirt on, baby. <laughs> we, we did we did. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. You know, Chuck, I can break yeah. it down for you. Basically, our children were in a dance school. Okay, and mine were the youngest ones. You know, the little ones, like four years old, seven years were old. Were you in like the that. play yourself? Did you have a role? Well, it, yeah. If you ever watched the Nutcracker in, in a live performance, uh, like a playwright style, okay. There's yeah, a I just parent. freeze frame it at a particular. I'm moment, sure he did. Yeah. It's but okay. It, it is the world's most boring. <laughs> it was. It was <laughs> fun to do it though. Yeah. No, I thought you actually talked. I thought you were childhood friends. No, five years ago, really? You never said five. Oh, if you were paying attention, I active listening, Chuck. Problem. Active listening, Chuck. <laughs> no, I, 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 I just get lost in your eyes. <laughs> Basically, they put on a performance every year for the Nutcracker. We go to the high school, you know, and they and they have a huge performance with all the kids, and they all do the dance numbers. It's a whole real feature Nutcracker. And there's a parent scene in the very beginning. It's like the opening scene where the, the parents all come out and they're having a, a dinner party, you know, and, and, you know, watch the Nutcracker. Okay, okay, okay. I want to I wanna bring this show yeah, back yeah, to some relevant. Right. <laughs> I mean, rock and roll, I mean, I don't baby. Think, no, right, right. I don't think anybody's interested in, in Nutcracker right now. Speaking you know, of cracking nuts, why are you busting my balls, man? Right. Right. Okay, right. right. We're talking about cracking nuts. How about some ball-busting rock and roll? Really? Really? All right. Let's go well, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's give everybody Doug. a second to introduce themselves, man. Yeah. Can, uh, let's go around the room left to right. We'll start with Doug. He's closest to the mic. Yeah, Doug, what's up? what's up, man? Let's talk talk a little bit about you. You've been playing music for how long? Uh, since high school. Probably. Since high school. Oh, there you go. All yeah. right. And that was what, like two years ago? Yeah, a couple <laughs> years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I just got recently graduated, but no, no probably, I don't know, probably 12 years. Nice. Oh, yeah. cool. And then we've got uh, Ed. I like the shirt, by the way, man. I got a couple of short sleeve button down mechanic style shirts like that. Yeah. Like rocking those shirts, man. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I didn't just have to work. <laughs> He's like, that's what I was going for. I just left work. Kevin's <laughs> wow. so wardrobe. Come over here. Show. So, so uh, Ed is uh, what? Lead vocals and guitar. Um, I'm sorry, Doug. Ed, okay. uh, you play, I would imagine, rhythm guitar, rhythm guitar background yeah. vocals, whatnot. Mm-hmm. Cool, Something. cool. You've been yeah, playing a long good. time, too? I don't even know how old you are. You look about my age, maybe a little younger, uh, something no, like that. That's how old you are, I guess. Um, my God, Kevin, are you hitting on him? <laughs> Dude, I hit on everybody, bro. <laughs> of course. Oh, well, you, you just wait till the third hour, Chuck. I'll be hitting on you again, dude. <laughs> Thanks. My mom's listening, Chuck. All right, thanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh speaking of your mom. <laughs> <laughs> got to turn that ringtone down, man. Anyway, so... Uh, 
Ed, you've been playing music for, what, a, uh, about the same amount of time? How long? Yeah, since, well, I realized the girls liked it. <laughs> right on. There you go. Yeah. so freaking loose. <laughs> Man, that sounded creepy. <laughs> Everything Chuck says sounds creepy. Get used to it. Man. Holy crap! All right, so we got Harold. What's up with Harold, man? I like the beard you got going on there. It's a little bit better than Camden's, and fuck Camden, man. I can't stand that. <laughs> so, how long you been playing music? Uh, like twenty years. I twenty think. years. All right. What's your biggest influence? What makes you want to pick up that electric guitar and, and jam out? Originally, just other bands. Just other bands? Yeah, you know. Anybody in particular? Who's your guitar hero? Back then, oh, jeez, I don't know, a lot now. But Couple. Just give us one or two. Back when I was a teenager, it was Metallica and okay. stuff uh, like that. He kind of looks, he, he does look a little bit like James Hetfield. What's in your car right now? If you get in your car and you fire it up. Well, it'll be on my phone, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah I, I forget, I was all old school. Shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we, we cranked the cars back That's in my day. <laughs> See, if I were you, I'd be playing songs to myself, so I'd have my own CD yeah, in the really, car. I'd be like, yeah, CD just done, so I've been listening to that mostly. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Uh, everything, yeah, absolutely. Now, you're, you're playing an electric carving guitar. Yeah. yeah. What uh, what do you think of that? Is that uh, uh, it's something? Great. It's a good company. either. Yeah. Factory direct. You get $3,000 guitar is like $1,000. There you go, dude. You like just got a plug for that. Uh, you got a yeah. check coming Kevin, in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys may know some of my background, but I, I used to shoot for Armadillo and HHI guitars. I, I, I shot for those guys for years and years doing all their guitars. You're not getting paid for that, Chuck. But come on, man. Okay. We got one more person We got over Al here. over there on the bongos, obviously the drummer in the band. Nutcracker. Yeah, from the <laughs> Nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to put it on the album. <laughs> yeah, that'll be your third, uh, your next album. Why not do a version? Absolutely. You know what? No. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember talking to you guys earlier in the week, and uh, somebody said my elder is in the band. <laughs> that was Doug. <laughs> Who who's your elder? When you guys are I, related? I <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about Al? Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I played with Al forever. We played in like three bands together. I think. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You, know, you guys are tied to sound. And I tell you, you, you got such an interesting and I, I love your compositions and I love the way they go and, and the ups and downs. And I'm telling you, man, I, I'm absolutely mystified about your music. Oh, thank I you. Really, you know, not some, the, the acoustic versions are taking me away, man. Well, these They're are different really. songs, yeah. We have two, two groups of songs we, we play. Right. You know, sometimes we play he our heavier stuff or, you know, for certain shows and other times right. we play our acoustic songs. We play no, no, I, I am telling you tonight, you guys are absolutely spot on clean. No, uh, clean. Chuck, are you hitting on him, dude? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 well, no, Kevin, I, I, I figured. Um, I'm going on. <laughs> <laughs> You're next, Kevin. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> should, should they play some stuff? Do you guys, yeah. they're, they're itching, man. I can see they're like dude. can see He has not taken his hands off. And, and or off, no, they're all, it's like gunslingers, they're, they're, they're ready to shoot, baby. All right, Chuck, let's, uh, let's let these guys play out. What are you going to play? Play happy. Sure. All right. Yeah, all right. All right, so this is all happy. Happiness, all right, cool. Here we go, slingshot robot. 